To finish our self-portrait, we're going to mount it and create a frame using printmaking. First, we need to mount our work. It's very important today that we use an appropriate amount of glue. Remember, a dot is a lot. Remember to open your glue bottle, you need to unscrew the orange cap until you can see a gap between the orange and the white. Sometimes you also have to pick some dry glue off the top. To mount my work today, I'm going to put four dots of glue, one in each corner. That's all you need. Notice how my dots are not on the corner, they're just inside. That means the glue won't leak out of the edge. I'm going to center my self-portrait on my black paper and smooth it out. Now because these papers were very wet when we did the marker prints, the edges want to peel up. So I'm just going to hold them down and count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Do not add more glue. We don't want any glue around the black edge of the paper visible because this is where we're going to do our printmaking. For our printmaking today, we're gonna to be using metallic paint. And for our printing tool, we're going to use a fork. Make sure your self-portrait is on your messy mat. and you're gonna dip the tines of your fork in the metallic paint. Notice I'm not scooping paint, because I don't want to eat it. I'm just dipping the end of the fork. Now, I can print and make a pattern. You can use gold or silver or both. And if your picture starts to peel back up, just press the corners back down. Do not add extra glue. You can print your picture all the way around the border. I'm turning my fork to create a neat pattern. When you're all done with your printmaking, pick up the entire messy mat and put your messy mat and your self-portrait on the drying rack. Then you can do the not just a scribble activity written on the board.